Hello friends and welcome to Virtual Happy Hour, Formal Friday Edition. As you can see, I am wearing a cocktail dress to mark the occasion because why not? I'm not going to have an opportunity to wear one anytime soon. Also, today is my good friend Josie's birthday. We were supposed to be in Chicago celebrating this weekend, but obviously that is not happening. For our drink this evening, I will be making the same cocktail I made this morning on CTV Ottawa Morning Live, a coffee infused old fashioned. So in order to make this, I took one cup of bourbon and put three tablespoons of whole coffee beans. I used dark roast from Little Victories and I put it into this little jug and I let that sit for about 24 hours. I would start checking it every eight hours and see what kind of flavor that you like and get that really, really coffee notes that you're looking for. I'm gonna be using Demerara or brown sugar syrup, which we've made before, equal parts brown sugar and water, simmered in a small saucepan over medium heat until the sugar is fully dissolved, let it cool, and that will keep in your refrigerator for at least a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be using Aztec chocolate bitters and also Mr. Lee's Chinese secret bitters. I realize you probably don't have these, so just use Angostura, that's gonna be great. And then we're gonna be using an orange. I'm gonna try my hand at a flamed zest. So I need this lighter. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, I can nail it. I think that will be a fun party trick. So in case you're wondering, I am still deep on my TikTok addiction. Um, one of the subgenres I find interesting is the one where the women are doing one of the TikTok dances, but they have the camera facing their boyfriend or their partner who's like watching at them and they're getting all hyped up watching them, which doesn't seem staged at all. And by that, I mean, seems totally staged, but it does make me think that I probably should have uh, tried to cuff a boo before pandemic season so I could have someone be like my hype beast and get me all jacked up and not laugh at me when I attempt the savage dance, which I still haven't mastered because I still don't know how to throw it back properly. But it got me thinking about um, how people show affection. And my ex-boyfriend did this really weird thing, which I'm sure he's gonna be delighted that I'm sharing to my thousands of followers, but um, I don't think he watches my stories. So uh, unless his friends or family that do watch pass this on to him, I think we can keep it our little secret. This is a private channel, right? Like no one really watches this. He used to do this thing called chinning, which was basically like jabbing his chin into my body part with like all of his might. And that was the number one way that he would show affection where he would just like, if I'm gonna do it on my arm, he would just like dig his chin in and wriggle it around. It's very uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie to you, quite a painful way to show an expression of affection. Um, so I think I would prefer just like moving forward down the line, someone that is prepared to show me affection, you know, with words of praise or gifts. Um, you know, those are my main love languages. I'm sure you've heard of love languages. There, there are five acts of service, words of affirmation, gifts. I'm going to forget the other two right now, but you know what I'm talking about. What is it? Uh, physical touch and something else that I can't remember. You're all gonna DM me now and tell me what I've forgotten. But my main ones are definitely, oh, quality time. I love quality time, that's what it was. I pretty much like all of them, but probably really love words of affirmation and gifts. And it doesn't need to be something elaborate, um, preferably not your chin and my shoulder, but um, yeah, like my favorite chocolate bar, or I'm obsessed with the uh, coconut white chocolate caramel apple from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, so that would be a good gift for me. So it doesn't need to be something really expensive or elaborate, just something that shows that you were thinking about me and that you listen when I talk, which I know a lot of men seem to struggle with. Unless they're a fanboy, because then you all are up in my DMs and I know you've been paying attention, so thank you so much. Now, I am gonna grab some ice because we need that in order to stir this coffee-infused old-fashioned. And I'm gonna grab a large ice cube for in our rocks glass. So as you can see, I already have one ounce of our coffee infused bourbon in here. 
So I'm gonna add a second ounce. So now we have two ounces of bourbon. We're gonna use a quarter ounce of our brown sugar syrup. That's good. And then we are just going to add our bitters. So I'm gonna do two dashes. You want three dashes in total. So if you're using Angostura, just three dashes of that. But one, two of my chocolate, and then one of my Mr. Lee's Chinese Secret Bitters. I picked this up from a cocktail store in Montreal called Alambica. They have a great online store um, and a big selection of bitters. Another great option, obviously locally, is Pot and Pantry. Or from Toronto, Cocktail Emporium. Those are probably your best bets for Canadian cocktail supply. So we're gonna add our ice in here. And again, we're stirring this cocktail because it's a spirited cocktail. We don't wanna add texture by shaking. We just wanna create a silky mouthfeel by stirring in our Yarai mixing glass, which is etched not just to be beautiful, but to make it easy to hang on to. Always good to chill your mixing glass beforehand because glass is not quite as good as metal in terms of an insulator, but it is still, uh, it is pretty good as long as the glass that you're using is chilled and the contents are chilled, it just works that much better in terms of insulation. So we're gonna give this a good stir. Again, this is like a very easy cocktail, definitely one of my favorites. I'm excited about this coffee component. It was quite a jolt to start my day at 9.15 with a drink, but I'm on vacation this week, so why not? So that should be good, nice and chilled. And now we're gonna strain, I'm gonna add an ice cube to our rocks glass. And then we're gonna strain with our Hawthorne strainer into the glass. And then we're gonna try our hand at the flamed zest trick. So you wanna take the zest between your index finger and your thumb, and you're just gonna run the flame of this lighter over the edge. And then when it's nice and warm, we're gonna go one, two, three. There we go. So you saw a bit of a flame there. Nothing too crazy, not the fireworks I was really hoping for. I'm just gonna kind of turn it into a rudimentary twist and drop that in. Cheers. Oh, that is very nice. Just like a subtle coffee flavor, really delicious. Thanks for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Happy birthday again, Josie.